Hi everyone, today we're going to walk through a simple and easy way to create a graphic featuring your book on Canva. So to do this, you will need access to Canva, a 3D mockup of your book, and a little bit of time to create the graphic. If your cover designer did not provide you with a mockup of your book, then sites like mockupshots.com have lots of options. Mockup Shots is especially great because they also have mockups with your book in real life scenarios that are great social media content. We're going to focus on building an image from scratch for now, so you only need the 3D mock-up of the book itself, but do take a look at mock-up shots if you're interested. So back to Canva. The easiest way to create a graphic featuring your book is to place your book on a stock image of a table or on a colored background. It's very easy to find these on Canva on the left menu. You can find stock photos over in the photo section here. When you find one you like, just drag and drop into your canvas to make it your background. One that I do generally is I look up table. When you search table, you'll find lots of stock images of tables that you're able to use. When you find one you like, I like this one here, you'll just drag it and drop it into your background. One alternative to a stock image would be a patterned background or a solid color. To do this, you can go to the background section on the left menu here. Lots of different options will load, including landscapes, patterns, gradients, and some other things. Make sure that you're choosing something simple if you're planning on using text. If the background's too busy, the text may be difficult to read. You also want to make sure that you're choosing a color that will make your book cover pop, because if it blends in too much, it won't stand out. Here are some examples of different backgrounds. Here you have a light colored background and dark colored text and the cover pops out. In contrast, you have a dark background, light colored text, the color pops against the background. Here's an option with a solid colored background where the cover still pops out and the text has contrast to the background color. Here's an example of a background that's not really the best. The background's busy, there's no contrast between the text and the pattern, it's just leaves a little to be desired. You keep scrolling down, patterns too busy, colors go well with the book, but you can't read your text at all. Then you have the instance of matching the cover colors with the background. This will make your cover blend in too much and you really do want that contrast and you do want it to pop. So if we go back up to our original image, we want to add text to this. So to do that, you go over to the left bar and there's a text tab. You open this, click add a heading. That'll provide you with a big bold text to work with. When you're picking a font, you wanna make sure it's something bold, has a lot of weight to it so that it stands out against the background. This is one that we've been using in this example. So if your message is coming soon, you'll wanna type that out and then stretch to however big you want it to be. If you'd like it to be in all caps, there is a tool for that. You can move your text to the top and click this fancy little button here and it'll put everything in caps lock for you. If you wanna make sure it's centered, you go over to position here and you choose center. It's faded out because it's already centered. So I'm just going to move this up a little bit. And you now have text on your image. A good way to check if viewers are going to be able to read your message is to zoom out to 25%. So come down here to zoom, choose 25. If you can still see clearly, it's probably good to go. But if your text looks like a fuzzy little line, your readers are not going to be able to see that. And if people can't see your message, then they're not going to be able to actually see your message. And you want to make sure that your readers are getting everything you're saying. Okay, so if we go back to our regular view, we zoom out to fit. So say you have a background image that's a little busy, you really love it though, and you want to put some text on it. Say you want your book at a picnic, like this one. What are your options? Okay, so come over here to the left side where it says elements, and you can pick a shape to put behind your text. This will give some contrast, it'll help bring emphasis to your text as well, and it'll save that really pretty background that you got really excited to use. So one of my personal favorites is a banner. If we go here and click the square, it will appear. 
come up here to where there's a color block. You choose this and pick your color. Red is usually good for catching attention. Okay, so I'm going to take my square here, move it up. Get it where I want it. Adjust the shape. Go to position and click backward you now have a banner behind your text. Move it up with your arrows if you need to. And you now have a coming soon banner on your image. It makes this image a lot easier to read and your message gets across very clearly. Another thing you will want to consider when creating your book graphics is branding. So if we go back up to our original graphic here, we can add branding in a couple of different ways. You can do a logo, you can do the website, or you can do your username. For this example, we're going to do the website. So if you come back over here to text and you choose add a subheading, that'll give you a medium sized font. But then you go in and just type your website URL. Once you have that, you can resize it so it's a little larger. This size is good. And place it down at the bottom and make sure it is centered. You can see here that the black text really doesn't show up very well on the wood. So if you want to change the text color, you come up here and you just choose your new one. White should show up pretty well. Yep, right there. At New Shelves, we suggest branding your images for a couple of different reasons. First, branding will keep people from stealing your content. And second, branding will redirect viewers to your website if they're interested. Basically, branding is a type of cross-promotion that's beneficial to growing your internet presence while also keep your images from being stolen. It's really a win-win situation. The last thing we're going to talk about today is adding a sticker. When you're running a discount promotion for your book, consider adding a sticker to an existing graphic for a simple and eye-catching promotional graphic. So to do this, we're going to start by going down here. This one works. So first, we are going to create a shape. So we're going to go back over to the elements section on the left menu bar. And this time we're going to choose the circle. Once you have your circle, you can pick a color for your sticker. We're going to go red again. And resize it however big or small you want. If you want to put it up here, I would suggest moving your book a little off center just so that it fits a little better. Okay. So now we're going to take our text from here, go to position, pull it forward, and edit it. So we'll write sale. You want this text to be in all caps. Come up here and click your uppercase again. You can shrink this text box like this. Grab it and drag it down until you see these little dotted lines that indicate it is centered in the middle of your circle. Then to select these two things to group together, click on your image and drag up, and this will select both. Come over here to group, and now you have a sticker, and when you move it, the whole thing will move together, which is super easy and convenient. So to finish this one off, we just bring it back up here and shift the book over a little bit. And that's how you add a sticker. I hope some of these tips were helpful. Try them out. 
tag us, let us know how it went for you. And can't wait to see your great graphics. Have a good day.